1998. Today is Saturday. We are going on a day trip to Biloxi. And on the way, we will stop by the Infinity Science Center, which is run by NASA. Look at our hat. It's NASA. And my t-shirt too. Kennedy Space Center. So it's Dina. <laughs> it's super sunny today. And we're gonna go to the beach later today too. Super looking forward to it. Yeah, today is Saturday and we're gonna celebrate, right? End of summer vacation, short, short summer vacation. We're gonna go eat at Golden Nugget, uh, the King Crab Buffet. Oh, you can eat King Crab Buffet for $28 or something? Yeah, I never tried King Crab Buffet here. Only tried it once, uh, the King Crab in Costco. Only tried Costco? It once. Yeah, the King Crab. You know? oh. It's like $19.99 per pound. So I'm gonna eat like $100 worth of King Crab today. <laughs> Yeah, so the Space Center is only like 45 minutes from our place, New Orleans. And I'll do more coverage when we get there. Alright, see you. The Space Center opened from Monday to uh, Saturday and the ticket is um, $12 for adult. It's a museum, it's kind of small, but the bus tour is what makes it great. So I think if you're in the area, Mississippi, Biloxi, you should definitely check it out. Atlantis. This is Stina, the pilot. She is operating the space shuttle. We're entering space shuttle at sea. Pilot Stina, right here. She is preparing to take off or landing. Alright, co pilot is going to take a seat as well to help guide them take that down. Oh, we're crashing! Oh, no. What the movie? 500. Easier than the last it's easier? She said it's easier. Maybe Is she gonna make it? Is she gonna make it? Oh, you're landing kind of crap fast, kind of fast. You can't crash. You crash. Hard. Destiny, the space center. Let's go inside and take a look around. Oh, see, take a look up here. This is the, where the crew sleep. They sleep standing. Yep, we're inside. And all these computer stuff and combustion integrated thing. And that's the computer. Workstation. You can also see the robot. Yep, on the roof, you can also see lots of stuff. Like all the drawer is on the top. Yep. Alright. Gonna exit now. <laughs>
is our failed attempt to make a plane to take off. Couldn't get it off the ground. <laughs> This is the boardwalk little trail, but it's closed today. And this is the front of the Infinity Science Center, NASA. Yeah, we just finished browsing the museum. It's actually pretty small, only two floors. And we're gonna take the bus tour in like 20 minutes. And maybe watch a small dome movie later. And that's I-10 East or West I-10, right next to the highway. This is uh, the main entrance of the Infinity Space Center. There's uh, lots of exhibit of the engine and other uh, air spacecraft stuff. Yep. There's Lena. Yeah. Trying to look for some alligator, but didn't see any. No alligator. Okay, we're gonna go back and get ready for the bus tour. So here we are on the bus tour. The bus tour is 35 minutes and runs every hour. It's a really good tour. I really enjoyed it. It takes you right into the Stennis Space Center and you get to see the lunch pad, uh, the fourth and it has engine now. And you can stay Yeah, really cool. <laughs> all at the same time in the same configuration that they were used aboard the space shuttle they can actually generate more power than 23 rushing hoover dams the space shuttle engine is the most powerful engine grid size ever created seven feet in diameter 14 feet in length three of those engines operating for about eight and a half minutes can use more than half a million gallons of fuel And the last building to the left here was the old visitor center stenosphere. Also up to build the Saturn V, which placed Americans on the moon back in the 1960s and 70s. It passed away back in 1977. And then we have the Mississippi State Bulldogs on the bus. Four never do that like that still Now, I'm glad to be back in about 35 minutes. So. Now, folks, Center is one of 10 NASA centers located across the United States, and we are the second largest land-wise, with just over 139,000 acres of land. Most of that land is incorporated into an area we call the acoustical buffer zone. Two test facilities is called the Test Control Center, which is where the conductors will run. Conducted right there on the A2 in front of you guys back in 1966. Big. Engine testing center. Huge, 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 huge. Yeah, we get to get off the car and see it. It's really cool. They do many engine testing. Yeah, engine testing. The main Kennedy Space Center is like walking. Yeah, here's another one here. It's really cool. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. 
Yep. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Yay. Very cool. There's our tour guide. Poor guy, and here's the bus. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Really cool. Okie dokie. I think that's the highlight of the trip. Alright. See you guys at next stop. Bye. Okay, so we're at the Stennis Space Center cafeteria trying out the cosmic combo. That's what the spacemen eat on the spaceship. No. No, just kidding. <laughs> this is what the fake spacemen eat. <laughs> so we got a Swiss cheese burger and mushroom burger. Mushroom burger. Yeah. All right, we're gonna eat it. All right, dress the. Burger. Yeah, the lunch here at the cafeteria is actually pretty good. They grill the burger right in front of you and it's not super pricey. $6-ish for burger and $8.50 for burger with fries and drink. Good deal and very tasty. Here's just a blue crab in their aquarium in their cafeteria. It's kind of cool to see blue crab running here. Space Center, yay! And just before we left, we went to the cafeteria to get some uh, lunch. And guess what? Sina saw the advertisement for these passport for NASA Visitor Center. That is really cool. Glad she found it. Or else we will have to go back on the right side. Yeah. Or else we will have to go back and get the stamp. So these are free. You just have to ask, and then you just fill out some basic information. And they pre-stamped the Stannis Infinity Visitor Center page. <coughs> yeah, so there are uh, actually, I think around 10, more than 10, a little bit over 10, a little bit over 10 uh, Visitor Center in the US. And we already went to Kennedy Space Center, so we have to uh, go back and get a stamp sometime. Yep, so this marks the end of the Stannis Space Center, and we will be going to Biloxi. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. See you guys next time. Bye.